Our design team chose to create a throwing knife as our blade of choice, with the aim of constructing a blade that was both impact resistant and balanced in the center. The origins of throwing knives date all the way back to 1300 BC, when they were often used for hunting. Today, however, throwing knives are more commonly used in sporting competitions and entertainment. To maintain a good center of balance in our finished blade, which would help the knife be more accurate when thrown, we opted to make both the blade and the handle of the knife out of metal. We also chose to make our blade out of 1018 steel, as it is a relatively tough steel that was widely available. Forging was conducted under the supervision of our local artisan, Skylar Hoffos, who oversaw the construction of the blade. During forging, the blade was first heated to around 900 degrees Celsius, after which the steel was drawn out and shaped. The handle was formed first by drawing out a thin strip of steel, which was twisted and bent. After this, the blade was forged from the remaining steel. The effects of heat treatment were tested on a number of metallurgical samples. By first heating the samples using a gas torch to austenize the steel, and then cooling them in air followed by a water quench. However, this negatively affected the properties of the steel, and heat treatment was ultimately rejected for the final blade. Following the forging, the blade was ground from 200 grit to a finish of 2000 grit. Proper safety equipment was worn during this step to avoid any potential injuries. After the grinding was complete, the blade was covered with a layer of wax. Designs were carved into the wax, and the blade was then submerged in ferric chloride to etch it. The wax was then removed, and the blade was polished, bringing the knife to completion. In the end, the final center of balance of the knife was 6mm from its physical center. 